Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today Terry and I are going to be showing you how to change the hood vent on a C7 Corvette Stingray. Hi, I'm Gina. This is our 96 LT4 Collector's Edition. You're watching the Corvette channel. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit subscribe. So today we're going to be changing this the Stinger vent here. Um, this this Stinger has a little bit of a problem. The uh, the paint right here is starting to come loose on this edge, and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to replace it with another one. Um, so we're going to show you how to take that out. I've seen that a lot of people have tried to figure out how to take this vent out and they've damaged their hood in the process and it's actually very very simple to do once you know exactly how to do it. Just want to make sure you guys can see this. So this is the new the new vent or the replacement vent, okay? Now if when you get under the hood and we'll show you this as we go, there's the 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 trim that goes around and there's two screws that sit right up up here. We're going to take those out and that trim still isn't going to fall off because it's being retained by these four clips here. So we're going to, we'll pry the cover off which will then reveal it to look just like this. And then what we have to do is we've got each one of these, I'm going to flip this over here, this is how they are retained into the hood. Okay. Now all we're doing is we're just going to get our pry tool, our, our nylon plastic uh, pry tool in between here and the hood and we're going to pry each one of them loose until we get it. It doesn't, doesn't take much, but you, this is where you want to pry from. Okay, so you're prying and you're just pulling it loose until you get it completely free. Now, if you've got a second person to be able to be out on the outside holding the vent so it doesn't fall out, that's great. It also makes it very easy so when you go to put that back up into the hood, you have somebody standing on the outside to hold it like this while you're snapping the... the uh, the snaps back in place. Now if you notice here, there it's just the white clips like this, okay? When we take this off, there's going to be some little black uh, wash, rubber washers um, and their foam I think is the way they're made out of and we're just going to take those off of that one and we're going to put them onto this one and we'll put it back on. That way we won't have vibration in the hood when we go to put the, the new vent in place. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video going ahead and taking it off and Terry and I are going to go ahead and pull it off. Okay. This is actually a first for me. But Scott says I can do it. Sometimes I believe him, sometimes I don't. <laughs> <laughs> now, these two top screws are T T15 Torx. Okay, I'm just gonna lay that right there. Okay, this is supposed to pop out. Ooh, easy. Okay, you're not bad, Scott. <laughs> that was simple. That there worked you know. out good. Okay. So that, that reveals the same thing I'm showing you guys here that you've just got the four clips. Now, if you notice that we've got a little bit of surround here. Now, if you want to take the time to go ahead and take the uh, your your snaps off here to take the hood liner off, you can. That's not a problem. It's just that I didn't feel like doing that, um, and, but you can, uh, but you don't have to. So all you're doing, again, is you're just going to be able to pull this back, because this actually goes right here behind it, if you can see what I'm talking about. You only need to get right here anyhow. So, okay, so what we're doing is we're just pulling this back here like so. And you can see all the different spots that we have to go, because it's just a white clip here. So I'm just going to reach in here like that. Now, we're just going to pry it loose, just like that. I know it sounds terrible, guys. It sounds like you're just destroying the car, but it really, you're not hurting it. Just that like kind of helps doing that. Just kind of push it all back behind there. Okay. Okay, like go that. on this side. Now you hold it while you pop it out. Yep, this way it just doesn't fall on you. That's the only reason that Terry's holding that like that. But again, it sounds like you're tearing the car apart, but it's just the little plastic clips. So it's not a big deal. And there you go. So now, you're going to see here 
the, some of the little donuts, the little washers stayed on the car. Some of them stayed with the part. You're just going to go ahead and you're going to take the, just take these off. Actually, what you could do is you, instead of pulling them off, you could leave them there and just make sure that the other ones that are in place get transferred to the new one. Besides that, you're just going to re reverse the process. Yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do that. I just lay these right here. Okay. Let me get the other part. Perfect. So I'm going to grab the, the vent here. So I've got a couple of washers over here I need to take off. Okay. So that one is there. And the top one is there. This one's there. So we're missing this bottom one. We're missing that one there. We're missing this bottom one. That one there. And it looks like these two on the side. And we have no extras. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So now all I'm doing here is I'm just handing it to Terry so he's holding it so we don't have it fall on us. I'm going to move these little tabs back like so, and then we're going to back it right to its spot. There's a couple guide pins. You'll feel those in there, uh, right where they get belong. Get the, the, on the other side, I'll hold it, get the, that little flap. I yep, we'll get the, that's what I was telling them. We want to make sure we get this, the little flap here for the hood liner out of the way. Okay, and then we're just going to push it up in there, and you'll hear it click, just like so. like that. Just it. like that. That's all there is to it, guys. And now you okay. want to pull this back out. Yep. Once you get an edge going, you can just kind of wiggle it right and yep. slide it right out. Just like that. Get to underneath it. Yep. Just like right. that. In the bottom. That We're good. Fun. And like I said, if you didn't want to take the chance of ruining the headliner, Got a little bit of dust there. If you didn't want to take the chance of ruining the headliner, which we didn't do, but if you didn't want to take that chance at all, you could take this off. I just figured it was much easier to just go ahead and do it this way. At that point, it's changed. So all we've got to do is just put the, the trim back on, put the two screws in, we're good to go. And when, uh, if you ever did change this, mm -hmm. you don't have to take this out. No. You just take this trim piece off and then replace this. Exactly. Cool, because I'm replacing it. I want something pretty. <laughs> <laughs> to make your wife happy. There you go. So while Terry's got this off, he's taken the opportunity to be able to clean the, clean the hood vent. Um, it's amazing. You keep your car as clean as you do. You know, I mean, most Corvette owners keep these things really, really nice. Um, and then you go and you do some work on them. You pull a part off and you're like, holy crap, look at all this stuff. You know, so dust you know, and stuff yeah. that just gets in there. You should have seen. You didn't see it on camera, but you should have seen the look on Terry's face when he saw how much stuff was on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to look like that. No, no, but okay, okay. Yeah, you just line up them just like that, slap it in place, and then we'll get them. There's that one screws right there, right where, right, below. right there. And okay, the driver, and I'll get this side, and you get that one. All right. And another job accomplished. I figure not too soon from now, I'll be able to do all this. I'll become a body man. <laughs> okay, now. But I still like Scott doing it because he's more of a finesse kind of guy and he has a little patience. I'm not that kind. <laughs> He's fooling you guys. He amazes me with all the stuff that he does, that's for sure. So guys, that was as simple as it gets. I don't know how, you know, how hard you, you start reading all of the stuff on the internet about how hard it is to change these vents and that people don't know how to do it. Um, it's about as simple as you're ever going to get. Um, so there you, there you have it. So that's how you change one of the vents. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. If you like what you saw today, please hit subscribe and hit the like button. Also, 
Be sure to hit that bell so you will be alerted to our next uploads.